Yo, what's up everybody? I'm here with another video. Um, I've been off the channel for a minute. If you haven't noticed, I've been learning to sew over the past few months and it's been great. This video here is going to be a real quick project. I'm going to teach you how to take your regular collar and turn it into a widespread. Um, widespread calls are very trendy and popular right now and it gives off a little bit more detail of your tie when you're wearing a necktie with your dress shirt. You need to know at least the basics of sewing to do this project. If you don't, you can visit sewedacademy.com which is a monthly subscription teaching you how to sew literally starting from taking the sewing machine out of the box. $11.97 the best money you'll ever spend so check in the description box below hit the link and sign up. So for those that do know how to sew let's get started. Okay before we get started you're gonna need pins, some snippers, a seam ripper and of course a shirt. Um, excuse my shirt, the stains, that's the only thing I had in the studio today but you should of course be using a clean shirt. Um, first step we're going to take the stitches out the top of the neck band. Um, I say about four inches on both sides. We don't have to take the complete cut off, just a good bit of the ends. So once you get down one side, we're going to do the other side the same exact way. So next, you're going to take one end and fold it wrong side out. Be sure to push that corner out too. So once you have it wrong side out, you want to take it and lay it flat. And this is the most important part because it's going to create that wide spread that you want to get. So I didn't mention this earlier, but you're going to need a ruler and also something to mark the collar with. So grab your ruler and we're going to measure in one inch from the top of the collar. We're going to make a little mark. All right. So now we want to connect that mark with the bottom of the collar at the point. So we're gonna go at an angle and mark it off just like that. This is gonna be a new stitching line. So stitch this down, we're gonna come right back. So you wanna start right there on the pre-existing stitching line. Back stitch. at the end. So once you stitch it down, it should look just like this. So you're gonna mark and stitch up the other collar in the same exact way. Okay, now that we have both sides stitched down, we're going to trim off the extra fabric here um, down to about a quarter of an inch. And we're gonna trim the corners just a little bit. Make sure you don't trim into your thread. And we're gonna turn it right back in. Now before we attach this collar back into our neck band, if your shirt has a top stitching, you wanna top stitch it right now. So I have a little bit of top stitching, so I'm going to go ahead and finish my collar before I insert it back into my neckband. Okay, after top stitching, only thing left to do, insert the collar right back into the neckband and stitch it down. So we're going to put it exactly where it was and pin it down. Okay, let's head over to the sewing machine. Okay, so you want to start just a little bit ahead of the end of the stitch. Back stitch. You 
You want to pass your stitching just a little bit and then back stitch. Now the other sides. Back stitch. Pass your stitching just a little bit one more time. And then back stitch. Now once you clip your loose threads, you'll be all done. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, remember to sign up for the sewingacademy.com if you don't know how to sew. And I'll see you next time.